Hello everyone, this is Sinan Ertemel. Welcome to our seventh lecture, which will be an application of Nash equilibrium, the game of chicken. So imagine you are in a very narrow street, two drivers are approaching to, to each other. And they have two strategies, either keeping their speed, not slowing down, or slowing down. So if both of them go fast, we will have an accident. If one of them goes slow and the other fast, the fast one feels better. He wins that interaction. Okay, not a big utility maybe, but he is not chicken. The other driver slows down. He is more scared. That's why the game is the chicken game. So nobody wants to be a chicken. So if both of them chickens out, like they go slow, then we don't have a chicken because it's going to be a tie. So let's try to solve this game by assigning utilities. So car crash is minus 10, winning plus 1, losing minus 1. Tie, where both of them go slow, it is 0. First of all, we realize that there is no dominated strategy. So there is no strategy which is always worse, regardless of what, what my opponent does. So the first and the second solution concepts, namely dominant strategy equilibrium and sophisticated equilibrium, they don't take me anywhere. I am stuck. I cannot solve this game. So therefore, in order to see the Nash equilibrium, in order to find the Nash equilibrium, I will go ahead and find the best responses. So what's the best response for N if Bob goes fast? Then N would definitely slow down. If Bob goes slow, then N would be fast. And similarly, Bob will be fast if, Anna, if N is slow, and Bob will be slow if N is fast. And if we put underscore to best responses, we will see that there is coincidence of best responses in two instances. So we have two Nash equilibria. One of them is N being slow and Bob being fast, and the other one is N being fast and Bob being slow. So another very compelling question would be, which of these two Nash equilibria would emerge in this setting, assuming that everything is symmetric? So in real life scenario, obviously, we don't have symmetry. I mean, if I'm playing this type of a, this type of a game in Istanbul traffic, where my opponent is a taxi driver or bus driver, usually I am the one going slow. But assuming that we have perfect symmetry, so the Nash equilibrium does not tell me anything further. We have two Nash equilibria. So this interaction, according to the fact that each player is playing the best responses, ends up with two, two possible outcomes. So in order to move from standard game theory to a more the strategy like finding the best strategies in terms of devising a strategy, the art of strategy, let me put it this way, then maybe we can say something more. So there is a movie from 80s, it's called Footloose, and they have this chicken game where two men are approaching to each other with trucks, tractors. So they don't want to be chicken in, in order to impress one particular woman. So there are two people like the good guys Ren and the bad guys Chuck and something happen, happens like during the scene. I suggest you to find the clip on the internet. What happens is the good guys a shoe ties, it is stuck to the gas pedal. He's unable to 
take his shoe off so he cannot press the brake pedal and he panics and jumps up and down and his opponent Chuck realizes that Ren is panicked he cannot slow down and then he swerves like he doesn't want to hit Ren and accordingly Ren wins the the game of chicken so what happened here is Ren accidentally changed the game so he was unable to slow down so he somehow removed one of the strategies which is going slow and in the reduced game now we have a dominant strategy Chuck will go slow if he knows that Ron cannot go slow so therefore among two possible Nash equilibrium outcome by this maybe not deliberate in the movie it was accidental choice but by this cho choice Ren took advantage and his favorable outcome occurred so by changing the game but we have to keep in mind that according to ethical and legal criteria in this ca case like removing one of the strategies you can gain advantage so businesses also play game of a game of chicken many times and the motivation for that is there is a market but the market size the market volume is not very high so it cannot sustain two people it cannot sustain two firms okay so one example could be airbus and boeing considering to produce a large aircraft before they did r d activities together then airbus moved on and produced the large airliner called a380 but the problem with this particular market is if both of them invest and enters into this particular large airline market due to the high investment and infrastructure cost both will lose so let me give you some hypothetical numbers suppose the market size is 10 billion dollars and entry cost which can constitute r and infra infrastructure and so on it is 7 billion dollars and each company has two strategies either enter either in or out okay if you are out you get zero regardless if you are in you are gonna get net profit of three ten minus seven if you are the only firm in the market otherwise if you have also your competitor in the market you will share the market the half of ten is five your revenue is five but your cost is seven so your net profit will be minus two so that's the payoff matrix if you look at the matrix we see that there is no dominated strategy and there are two Nash equilibria like the game of chicken that we solved and the equilibria are Airbus in Boeing out or and and Airbus out Boeing in and if we look at what happened in this particular competition Airbus went ahead and went in by producing a 380 and Boeing stayed out but later due to the market structure that particular airliner is no longer in production but at that moment Airbus was the only airline manufacturer that addressed the large airliners so my question is even though there are two Nash equilibria what would be a good way for Airbus to deter entry from Boeing let us remember what happened 
in the game of chicken between Ren and Chuck in the Footloose movie. So Ren made going slow costly, right? Because he cannot swerve the wheel. So he has only one alternative, which is to go straight. So we have to devise a similar strategy for Airbus. And the trick is the following. Airbus can do investment, commit to investment. And how so? Remember the R&D cost was 7 billion. Airbus can go ahead and invest 3 billion up front by building a production facility that was in Toulouse, France. And the critical thing about this particular manufacturing facility could be the following. You can only produce a large airliner such as A380 in that plant. So you cannot divert the production to other airliners. So if you switch, then $3 billion will be a sunk cost. You cannot recover that $3 billion because that production facility cannot be used for any other purpose. So if Airbus does that, the game is changed. So if Airbus is out, he is not going to get zero. He incurred a 3 billion cost of produce of the production facility. Right? And in this new game, we see that going in, namely producing a a380 becomes the dominant strategy because if he is in Boeing is in it's gonna be minus two against minus three so in is better and if Boeing is out it's gonna be three against minus three again in is better so for Airbus in becomes the dominant strategy and accordingly Boeing place the best response Boeing is gonna be out and that's what really happened in early 2000 okay that's the end of our lecture and in the next lecture I will introduce coordination games and I will give two examples battle of the sexes and assurance games thank you very much and see you in the next lecture